Hey Fedder Pips, welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time here, welcome. Today you join me on my last day, evening, night of my 10 year in the making London image video. Um, if you're wondering why it's 10 years in the making, nip back to episode one and that explains everything. So I start this adventure at the Lake Street Tunnels, which resides underneath Waterloo Station, uh, a place for artists to express their inner selves and basically paint graffiti all over the walls. Now it's a great stretch, uh, somewhere for us as photographers just to explore the urban landscapes once again of London. Great thing for me was I had the 360 camera. He's got the 360. Yeah, Whoa. brother man. Easy brother. <laughs> so I started at one end, press record, walked to the other end and in post-production then just had a look to see what really caught my eye and would be an interesting uh, video for us all to look and, and enjoy. So from there I came out at Waterloo Station, basically crossed the road over to the South Bank and the London Eye. Now the shot that I wanted here was one that I've been wanting to do for such a long time and the reason why it took so long is every time I've been close to it I forgot, I have literally forgot to do it because you get so engrossed in the London Eye, Houses of Parliament, the bridge and everything else that's going off around you, you just forget. But because this time I'd made a note, I knew exactly what I wanted to photograph, I didn't forget. Now the strange thing about this is there's two ways to get to it. Now you can go under the bridge or you can go over the bridge now, I didn't know you could go over the bridge and come down the other side. I literally thought you had to go through the, the tunnel or under the bridge. Now, for the sake of naming this something, I'm going to name it Piss Alley because it literally stunk of urine, pitch black, no lights on, a massive puddle in the middle. Really, I was getting the message that the council didn't want you going under there. Um, but there was nothing telling you not to go and to go over the other side. Maybe it's just an oversight, but I, I would suggest go over, although it was interesting. The reason why it was interesting, because when you went through the tunnel, you had to then turn right and bang, there was the image right in front of you. And that for me made it because it, I've seen it and I just wanted to get, get that image and to see it as I turned the corner and bang, there it was, it, it, it was brilliant. Because I know if I'd have gone over, I'd have been going, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there it is, there it is, then down, then yeah, yeah. But to, to just walk through a tunnel, turn right and see it right bang in front of you, spot on. Really, really impressed, really, really inspirational. Now, the thing about this this image, it's it's quite simple to forget about the composition because you'll see it and you'll go and now especially if you don't go through the tunnel so heed these words because the quick tip I'm going to give you is which um, this is what I think you would do if you came the other side you would probably just stand in the archway and take the shot but what you need to really do is to back up into the into the tunnel put your back against the wall literally but i wouldn't put your back against the wall because somebody's probably pissed up it um so i'd just back off from the you know just stay away from the wall but just be as close as the wall as you can bring some of the environment in bring some of the inside of the tunnel in and as the arch goes up it frames it frames big ben houses of parliament the bridge, it is fantastic. And you know what? The light fall off where you're standing, it's brilliant because what it's doing, it's, it's letting the viewer know that you are in darkness and you're coming out into the light and the walls are starting to light up around you, although it's pitch black behind you and it really is pitch black. So keep in mind that if you do go under, put your torch on off your phone or whatever you've got, stroll on through because it is the best way to see it when you first turn that corner. So from there, it was back up the South Bank, passing the London Eye, taking one or two images. It would have been rude not to. 
and heading towards the Millennium Bridge. Before we got to the Millennium Bridge, there was like a little sort of uh, food market there where they were selling hot food, street vendors, uh, street performers. There was a carousel, there was lights in the trees and a little skate park. And once I'd pulled the camera out and started taking one or two photos, everybody on the skateboards just came flying out of nowhere, doing tricks, doing these grinds and all sorts of strange things but they made for a good photo and I did enjoy it I probably spent about 15 minutes there with them uh, but it, it was all good fun so once that was done we finally get to the Millennium Bridge and I was after that iconic shot of the Millennium Bridge and St Paul's with the bridge leading you into St Paul's Cathedral uh, now, the downside to this shot was the fact that I didn't have a tripod and I had nothing other than my camera bag. So I smashed the V into it, yeah, and placed the camera on the top, put it on a two second timer, basically hope for the best. The thing is with the Millennium Bridge, it's, it's very spongy and you can actually feel the vibrations of people walking on the bridge. So what I decided to do was, because I didn't want any people in the image, was try and count the gaps in between people moving and just get in the shot. Because I never had a tripod as well, the success rate was very low. Uh, a lot of shaky shaker, all sorts of strange things happening in the images. But I did get one or two, which then allowed me to just try and put them together and take out the people in post-production. Now, once that iconic shot was in the bag, it was a case of just going up the road, hanging a right to the black phone box. Now, I've took photos of this before. Black phone box, St Paul's, London bus, all the trimmings, but it was always in the day. And I wanted to have a go at doing the um, light trails with the London bus. It everybody's done it that's sort of been around London in the evening or at night it's a great shot it's a bit of fun downside was there was a couple of skateboarders flying around quite rude you know not giving me any space whatsoever uh, I think they thought I was photographing them they were doing all sorts of weird tricks but the good thing was we was on a slow shutter speed so they didn't even show up in the image so give it a go if you're there at night it's about a two second three second uh, exposure works great and it's a lot of fun so once we'd done that it was a case of get some food head back to the hotel for a good night's sleep before heading back to Leicester from there I motored on up just past St Paul's you couldn't go wrong five guys a burger and a shake uh, before heading back to the hotel for an early night ready for our trip back in the morning and then coming out of five guys there was a opportunity to photograph St Paul's Cathedral just in a pool of light. I don't know what was going off. I don't think the council have paid their electricity bill because it was just literally in one pool of light and it made for a great picture. So what I decided to do was crop it square and make it black and white just to give it a little bit more. I think it feels a bit spookier than it would if it was in colour. And that was the last shot taken for the evening. So the next morning we, we left early just to give me a little bit of time photographing around St Pancras Station. Now if you've never been there before it's a really nice station, it's got a lot of photo opportunities. So I thought it would have been rude not to do a little bit of video and a little bit of photos before our departure back to Leicester late morning. So with that said and done guys there's one thing left to do and that's get out and shoot. <laughs> you know you want to. Till next time. Keep clicking.
Thank you.